in the great land of Inspire, we have four beautiful queens. Each has a prince and a princess. Each prince and princess has a crown and a backup in case they lose it. And every crown has eight ounces of gold. All right, we're going cup, two ounce, big, two small, which means we multiply. Every cup has eight ounces. So I need five groups of eight, which is 40. Ounces to cups, plus we know we're gonna have a remainder. Small to big, which means we divide. There are eight ounces in every cup, so we're going to divide 22 into groups of eight. Eight times two is 16. I have a remainder of six, which means I have two cups and six ounces out of the eight needed left over. Pints to gallons, small to big, which means I divide. There are two pints in every gallon. So 68 divided by 2. 34. All right. 1.75 gallons. So first I'm going to start, I'm going to write up here so we can see, we have 75 hundredths. And how would I reduce that down to quarters? Three quarters out of a dollar is three out of four quarters. I could have just divided the numerator and denominator by 25. So I have one and three fourths gallon. Now big to small means we multiply. Oh, we could have just kept this as a decimal. I'm going to actually go back to decimal. We know there are two pints and a gallon. And I'm going big to small, which means I'm going to multiply. So we're going to multiply by two. Don't forget your two decimal places. 2.5 gallons is 2.5. I have something going on here. I gotta figure out what I did wrong. I'm going gallons to pints. Nope, I guess that's right. So this is 2.5 pints. That's not right. Oh, I see my error. 2, 10, 14, 15, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. gallons and pints. Oh, I see my error. Ms. Dunnigan's been doing the math all day. My brain's getting tired. How many pints are in a gallon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. 1.75 times eight. All right, now we're ready. Eight times five is 40. Carry the four. Remember, you can use a calculator. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 is 60. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. I have two decimal places, which means it's 14 pints. 14 pints is greater than 10 pints. 
All right, so here they gave us a fraction, but we're gonna convert these into decimals. So we know that 3 fourths is the same as 75 hundredths. So we're going to write 2.75 quarts. We know 5.5 is the same as 5 and a half. All right, we need to go quarts to pints, which means we're going to multiply. There are two pints in every quart. So I'm going to multiply by two or use repeated addition. 5.5 pints, which is the same as 5.50 and 5.5. .5. Remember, this is comparing. Whenever we're comparing decimals, we make sure we have the same number of decimals. So we just add one over here. Equal. All right, so I'm going to ask you to stop and complete question five and question 11 and question 19. If you've already completed these, you don't need to stop the video. But if you haven't completed these, you're going to stop and do it now. All right, quarts to gallons, small to big, which means we divide. There are four quarts in a gallon, so I'm going to divide by four. Four goes into 19 four times with three quarts left over, or three out of the four, we need to make another gallon. Gallons to quarts, big to small, which means we multiply. We just said there are four quarts in a gallon, so I need four groups of 25. And we know from quarters that is 100. All right. Now this one's gonna be a little bit harder because we're going from ounces, really small, to big. So you're either, we know we're gonna divide, or we could go backwards and do how many ounces there are, because this way if we go from big to small, we would be multiplying. All right, so let's figure out what we would multiply by if we're going to multiply um, one for one gallon. So I'm gonna start with cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 cups in a gallon. 16 cups in a gallon. So how many cups are there in two gallons? Hopefully you said 32, because 16 plus 16 is 32. But that's cups, and I need ounces. And I know every cup has eight ounces. So now I need to multiply by my ounces. Eight times two is 16, carry the one. Eight times three is 24, plus one is 25. So I have 256 ounces. And now I compare ounces to ounces. 300 is greater than. All right, I forgot to ask you, we're gonna go ahead and do, nope, there's only a couple on the other page. I'm gonna let them do all these on your own. I feel like you've probably got it by now. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left on the first page, plus one, two, three, four, five on the back. Then um, either now or at a later date, you're gonna look at the homework and you're gonna go ahead and complete the homework. There are a total of 12 questions on the homework. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready. So first we're gonna do our anchor chart. Big to small, small to big. 
Now we're going to do our visual that helps us remember capacity. So here we go. In the great land of Inspire, there are four beautiful queens on the third floor. Every queen has a prince and a princess. Every prince and princess has a crown and a backup in case they lose it. And every crown is worth eight ounces of gold. All right, this is going to conclude our lesson seven. And these are, this is the final lesson in this section that is, should be mostly, um, mostly a review of what you already learned in fourth grade. Um, so we're going to jump for our next lesson to the assignment that I put in here. It just happens to be lesson eight. It's lesson eight of a different unit, but the lesson eight on ordered pairs. So go ahead and stop now and do your practice problems and homework.